Hello viewers, this is Mark, Technical Communicator with Avanti. This video is going to demonstrate how to troubleshoot a malfunctioning endpoint security agent. The workflow for this process is broken into four steps. Step 1. Identify problematic endpoints. If you're watching this video, you've likely already recognized that one of your endpoints is having issues. However, we'll provide a few examples of how to recognize endpoints having problems. Step 2. Increase logging level. To troubleshoot an endpoint, we need to gather all the information about the endpoint that we can. Therefore, we edit the global system policy to maximize the data logged by the endpoint. Step 3. Reproduce the issue. Now that logging is increased, you should complete the same action in the endpoint security web console that triggered the error. The agent will then log the events that occur, making it easier for us to pinpoint the cause of the issue. Step 4. Collect logs. Now you need to log into the endpoint and run the agent log collector. The log collector will gather troubleshooting information and then pack it into a zip file. Send this zip file to Avanti support, who will assist you in solving the problem. When the agent is functioning correctly, it checks in with the endpoint security server on a regular basis, per the default system policy. During these check-ins, the agent reports that it's still functional, and it also checks if the server has any policy updates or patches that it needs to apply. However, under rare circumstances, the agent can enter a non-communicative state. When one of these events occurs, you'll need to check the endpoint security web console for hints about what's going on. One cause of a non-responsive agent is that an error occurred during agent upgrades. This issue typically occurs when you've initiated an agent upgrade after upgrading your endpoint security server. From the endpoint page, look for agents that display an agent upgrade icon. If an endpoint has displayed this icon for longer than an hour, there is likely an issue with that endpoint. One other potential cause can be viewed from the endpoints page. Look for endpoints that have had an agent status of offline for an irregular period of time. The Deployments and Tasks page provides hints for problematic endpoints as well. Look for endpoints that have had deployments that resulted in failures. If you want to know more details about a problematic endpoint, click through on its Endpoints Details page. This page will display more information about ongoing issues. After you have identified an unresponsive agent, you need to increase logging levels using the Endpoint Security Console. Increased logging will record more agent actions, giving us a better understanding of what's going on. Maximize logging by opening the Global System Policy. Then set the logging level to trace. Just a warning, when you're done, return the value to its default setting. Trace logging likes to eat lots of disk space. Next, you need to reproduce the error on the problematic endpoint. The actions you make at this point depend on the endpoint error that you found. For agent upgrade errors, run the upgrade again. For patch deployment errors, deploy the patch again. And for discover applicable update errors, rerun the DAU task. After you've identified an unresponsive agent, you can log into the endpoint and run the agent log collector. The agent log collector is a utility that's built into the agent. This utility gathers all agent logs on the endpoint. Generally, there's a log for the base agent, plus another log for each module that's installed on the endpoint. You can run the log collector by opening a command prompt as an administrator. If you don't run the log collector as an admin, you won't have the permissions needed to collect all the logs. To run the log collector, change directory to the path listed on screen. Then enter the following command, lmctl collect logs. This command will collect all logs available on your endpoint. When the password prompt appears, enter the agent uninstall password for the endpoint to relax security so that the agent can collect its logs. You can find this password in the web console by browsing to the endpoint's details page. Click the agent uninstall password button to reveal the password. Type the password in the command console and press enter. Log collection will begin and it will take a minute or so to complete. When the log collector finishes, 
navigate to C Drive, Heat Software, Endpoint Diagnostics. This directory contains a zip file full of agent logs and other files that will help support troubleshoot your endpoint. Open a support request at the Avanti community. The URL is linked in the description below. Be sure to upload the log zip file as well. Avanti support staff will review your case and help you resolve your issue. Additionally, the log collector has a variety of customization options. You can tweak these options by opening the log collections configuration file, collectordurstructure.xml. By editing this file, you can target files in specific locations with specific file extensions. However, just running the default settings will provide support with all the information they need to address your problem. Thanks for tuning in.